need it for. This is where we're gonna land to be here like this. Thank you. We're gonna be here for the next 50 years. Thank God for his dedication. The singing and doing what he's been doing so well. And we thank God for his wide which is the example for all of us. He's walking faith. And then we want to thank the Reverend Jones is here, I believe. Reverend Martin is here. And Reverend Willie Ferguson is here. Him and his duty with what? I want to thank her for what, whatever she's doing to keep his mouth shut. So. Whether you for you. 
I know you have received Christmas, gifts of Christmas, and you were hoping that you would not see it another eight times. Hoping you were not see it in the angels. So you always expected something that uh, you would see. And when they give you something, it'd be something that unexpected. You may act gracefully and accept it or turn it, but maybe your heart is fixed upon receiving something with more style and distinction. In the aftermath, you learn to make do with, with that gift. While your needs may be met, but our desires remain unfulfilled. But later you may reach back and start using it less desired gift and discover that it was just what needed. And that's the bigger thought. What he said, God sometimes gives you something you might not need then. But as you look back over your life, you're glad that you have it. That's right. Amen. That's right. Well, that's right. We must be able to assert what the most beautiful gifts are. The disciples saw the big man determine what was the most beautiful gift for him. The text raises the question of sustaining a crippled man through the need of a human girl. For his desire to receive silver and gold with all of the choices this life offers us, we must discipline ourselves, separate our human needs from our excessive wants. We must plan and budget and our resources, making the necessary priority in our life. While we may wish your own a beer, a fruit or sugar may be this as well. This transportation may be there just as well. Amen. I do understand that the second choice are tolerated but uh, not uh, extremely highly as meeting your heart's desire. It is easy to get carried away with a lot wishes and then omit our desperate need. That's where Matthew 6, 33 is so important. He said, but seek what ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. That's one of my favorite verses. Uh, you must seek those things. But sometimes we take our minds off of it and put our minds on money. We need money, but money cannot heal you when you're sick. Money cannot give you less than joy. In fact, money sometimes can give you a lot of hell in your life. Right now, there are many lives of crippled of man asking for an assistance. There is much broken in our community. And we will ask God for the wisdom to put first things first. We will not always attempt to give people what they may request. Whether we should focus them on what the desperate need they have in their life. Remember, if they knew the call to where we were able to diagnose their own human predicament, the possibility would be uh, in their own helpless state. But the word said, have all men to be saved and to come into the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one man between God and men. The man Jesus Christ. Yes, Amen. That's why we must focus on Christ and get crucified. Amen. Amen. Too many of us, I'm cool myself, we always like to be good sound, sir. Use crochet to make you run down and shot. Some of make them feel good. But if the faith is focused in that kind of joy, Amen. when that devil comes your way, you have to understand. Amen. It's all part from the cross and him crucified. Because when he died on that hill and shed that one drop of blood, it set you and I free. We have been justified. We have been sanctified. And God knows one day we're going to be glorified. But when people ask for stuff and their own truth, let it be a gospel opportunity for our witnesses. The Bible tells us that there is a connection between the life Amen. that we live and the consequences that we might face. 
Proverbs 14, 34 states that righteousness is an observation, but sin is a reproach to any people. Right. The Lord help us to give people the gospel, tell them the truth, and learn that the wages of the transgression is hard. Proverbs 13, 5. But I, that's why I like that song the second part. Help us to hold God. Yeah, and do it by yourself. But when you come to the end of your journey, yes, yes, when the doctors look at you and say we can't do no more, that's when I know somebody called Jesus. He stepped right in on time. In warning to us, let us not see those who have wants and feel that sense. We cannot give them their wants. We should not try to help them to supply the need. Christians should never just go with the flow. And give the servant so that they won't, knowing that the need will be satisfied, unsatisfied. Amen. So the text body that we have today, Peter and John represented the Christian in the course of the everyday activity. Amen. They were on their way to a temple prayer meeting. A desperate situation was placed before them Amen. without the action of invitation. The group of man in Acts. 1, 3, 5. If he unto them expect to receive something of them, they were required to respond to that desperate cry for help, just as the day's change are required to respond to the lame and crippled of this world. God did not save us then to come to church on a Sunday morning. Rejoice and fun and go home. We are dealing with the crippled world out there, a sinful world. Things that happened today that we thought would be impossible just a few years ago. Amen. But the devil is on his job. Amen. I say he's on his job. Christians may represent the crowd that doesn't because they are what? They are salt of the earth. That's what we are. But if the salt has lost its sin, where of us shall we be salt? It is just for good for nothing. But to be what? Cast out and to be trodden under the foot of men, Matthew 5, 13. Saints are the light of the world, Amen. Matthew 5, 14. They're preserving that the seed of power must be dissipated to show the world Amen. a more excellent way of watching them. Amen. Sometimes the only problem that I see is, is you yourself. Yeah. So that's why when you walk around and say you're a child of God on your job, Make sure you live up to what you're talking about. I don't like to keep on bringing up the uh, River Watson's uh, name. But I remember years ago, he, he made a statement on his job that he served the Lord. And he had a sign on his table that I served God. Amen. And they respect him for that. Amen. If you stand up for your right, Amen. let them know you're a child of God. But, you, but he had to live that life. He had to show that life. Because you cannot say you're a child of God when you get around the water fountain, tell those jokes you laugh with them. That time will become part of it. But Peter and John had no gold or silver for the man, neither did they go and try to get in it to work place out. They give him what they had and what he needed. If a man in the name of Jesus, Christ of that, rise up and walk. Act we six. Then they, they participated in the miracle. The next verse of the text that stated that the preacher took him by the hand, lifted him up, and immediately his feet and anchor bone received work, received strength. So that let us know faith of that work is dead. You don't work to gain something, you work because the Lord calls you to work. That's why I don't just quit. Uh, ask God to help you to hold out. You would have what the world needs. You would have the power to command men to rise up in the name of Jesus. You would put the human and spiritual needs of mankind before the promise of expectation of flesh. You must tell those who are morally wounded by sin the things that will cause them to rise up in Jesus' name. We must tell them. The sin sick that Jesus is the great physician who can heal their condition. We must tell them the blind that eyes can be opened. 
It will tell them the longer that their hearts can be satisfied. Yes. Even for those who are a uh, heart that you encounter, the thing that will remove them from the suffering. Don't just give the desperate money when they need counseling, or give those who have been instructed that more support when they need correction. Help me over the roof. Not only that, and uh, they agree with people who you know to be wrong instead of starting to say the truth. In other words, we who would quickly do that. Lord, do not lose friend with it. Go along with it. But if it's wrong, it's wrong. Amen. And if it's right, it's right. Amen. And the people of God, we must maintain our integrity yes, of purpose and identity. Yes, we must not consent to offer this rebellious world yes, a weak, infectious form of popular religion. Amen. We could never raise them up Amen. from an ungodly condition. Amen. And all that coming here and make them out of feel good. Amen. As long as you don't mention the sin that happened, they go home happy. Or the devil gets on the trail, the hand on the fall back on. Yeah, be, 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 be forewarned. Some will not accept it, nor excellent gift. They will prefer to remain dependent, crippled, and unproductive. First Timothy 4, 3, 7 says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Over there. But after their own lust, shall they keep to themselves teachers have an easy year and they shall turn away yes, the ears from the truth. Amen. Many of the world are crying out for the sure go yeah. of a form of comfort religion. Yes, and some leaders are off to give them what they want. The new they will consisted of pitchy slogan, useless terminology, Amen. new theology. Interpretation which can never raise men from the sin Amen. and call them to walk in the newness of life. Yes. The real saint must state to the world loud and clear yes. I don't have what you want Amen. and desire, but I do have what you need. Yes. And such as I have, give I thee. Yes. I have Jesus in my life yes. and I testify to you, yes. Jesus, the hope yes. of this world. I recommend Jesus to the sinly. Yes, He's the Lamb of God. Yes, ah, we take away the sin of the world. Yes, to the hungry and thirsty. Yes, and even Jesus said, yes, I'm the bread of life. Yes, he that come to me shall never hunger. Yes, and he that believes on me shall never thirst. Yes, Remember that a light religion yes, makes a light Christian. Yes, who can never rise up yes, from other affliction. I must admit that our religion tastes great, but it is less filling. Yes. It does not fill the deficiency of yes. the spirit man. Yes. We need to hear the word of God. Yes. We need to work the word of God. Yes. Eat the word of God. Yes. Live the word of God. Yes. Speak the word of God. Yes. What does this preacher mean when he tells about the form of light religion? A yes. uh, little cow was fresh out of it. Yes. Uh, this is a religion where there's no such thing as yes. sin. To be deported. Yes. No message is made of suffering for Christ's sake, yes. of burning our burden yes. in the heat of the day. Yes. Oh, peace and diligence is not mentioned, yes. it is eternal to the master. Yes. If you always give ex 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 expected to the world, yes. you become entertainers, pop psychology, yes. instead of the voice of the living God. Yes. Crying in the wilderness of sin, we will. We will see churches that yes. perform to show faith and title of a musician yes. rather than the life name of God. Amen. We become churches that in 2 Timothy 3 5 have the form of God yes. but denying the power yes. of their own. I don't look like you, it, 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 building numbers is not building a church. Amen. You can you, you, you have a thousand people in a church all on the way to hell yes. if they have their faith in the wrong direction. I don't know about you. I want to have a few that know the name of Jesus. I want to have a few that lift up the name of Jesus. Yeah, population is all right for the soft breeze of life. And when the storm clouds arrive, we must head for the deep water of biblical truth and faith. 
Can we stand to our feet? Thank you. 